It was the moment that almost one and a half billion Catholics around the world had been waiting for. Habemus Papam. Cardinalem Ratzinger. April the 19th, 2005. Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger was named Pope Benedict XVI. The intellectual theorist from Germany had been chosen to succeed the charismatic John Paul II at age 78. Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. But then came a scandal so big that it rocked the entire Catholic Church. An announcement that Vatican officials were involved in covering up several abuse cases committed by priests against children. During a visit to the United States, Benedict XVI became the first pope to make a public apology for the atrocities. It's difficult for me to understand how it was possible that priests betrayed in this way their mission to give healing, to give love of the God to these children. We are deeply ashamed and we will do all the possible that this cannot happen in future. For many, this may be Pope Benedict's greatest legacy. One thing is certain, he is the man who dared to restore the image of the church. Within the church, as with other institutions, there will always be good and bad things. But Pope Benedict XVI will improve the church's image like no other pope has done before. But others were less complimentary. Aside from the paedophilia scandal, he was also criticised for his conservative ideology. Many accused him of being out of touch with the 21st century. Even in his native Germany, Pope Benedict's strict views on homosexuality, female priests, abortion and euthanasia were often seen as extremely outdated. And some accused him of letting theological dogma override his responsibilities as head of the Catholic Church. When speaking as a theologian, he forgot his duties as head of the church. He committed many mistakes, we all know that. For example, his discussions with the Arab world on moral issues. I think this pope will be quickly forgotten. He won't leave a lasting impression. In his later years, he was prone to illness. In 2011, Christmas Eve Mass was brought forward by two hours to protect his health. Benedict XVI is likely to be remembered as a transitional pope, unable to shake off the shadow of his more popular predecessor, John Paul II. Cardinals will now face the difficult task of finding a new, more charismatic leader, able to face the challenges of the 21st century.